So we want to design a shift register. So shift register and inside the parentheses that shift is shift to the right. So what it means? It means this. You want to design a four bit shift register. So that means you want to have one register like this. You should need to have one input, which I call that serial input. So each of them has kept some value. So definitely each of them is one D flip flop. This is Y3, this is Y2, this is Y0, and this is Y1. So whenever you give any input actually here, so it should be definitely have the clock pulse, right? For any any actually sequential circuit. So if I use the rising age, so that means it is sensitive to this rising age, okay? Oh, sorry, shouldn't be here. So consider actually this is your, this is your, clock pulse these are your rising age okay so if if i if i actually give one here so whenever it sees the first these rising age these one actually move here so in the second actually rising age these one move to the here so in the next one is actually move here in the next actually it's move here so and uh, in the next actually it's actually it is gone right so that means whenever you have one value and you shift that you lose the data that you have here so in other words you are actually shifting the whole things to the right with this rising age that you have we call that shift register so that shift could be to the actually to the right which is you see here even if you have the serial input from the right side should be to the left so today we actually just consider how we could design the shift right which is the, this one so that means you get this serial input a bit then actually with each of these rising age it actually move on to the right so how you could design that so it is actually simple so you just use the you just use the 4D register, okay? So this is the this is the first one. This is the second one. This is third one, and this is a fourth. So these are D flip flop. This is D flip flop. This is a D flip flop. This is D flip flop. Okay. So the input of the first D flip flop is SI, the serial input that we talk about. That you are able to give one bit. The output of this connected to the input of the second one. The output of this connected to the input of the second one, and the next connected to here. Okay. So you call this the Y3 that we label here. So whatever you have here is Y2, whatever you have here, you could see that as a Y1, and whatever you have here is Y0. So the flip-flop is the rising age. You see these samples here in the clock pulse. So the all of them connected to each other. And you have one clock pulse. So I labeled that CP. So each actually, each D flip flop has two extra input, which we didn't talk about that. So we have one input here. Its name actually usually is preset. We put PRS bar. 
So that's actually is here for all of them. Similar things you use if you check the IC of the default flop, you actually have another another in which we call that the reset. So that I just have the simulation that I just put the right label that we have. Yeah, PR for the preset, CL R for clear. So C L R. So all of them has actually this CLR. So all of them is CLR. This is CLR. This is CLR. What's the actually what these pins do? So if you active these pins, the preset, the PRS. So if I active this, the first question is based off the circle that I put here, this input is active with zero or one. Type it in the chat box. So based off this circle that I put here. What it means? It means these pin active with zero or one. Type on the chat box. Zero or one. Zero. That's why you see this circle here. Okay, this is the first thing. This is active whenever this is zero. This is whenever this is one, that's the active. It's do nothing. Okay. So see whenever these are deactive, I'm talking about the preset. Whenever these preset is deactive. So it means it's do nothing. So the D flip flop do its own job based on the table that you already know. Okay. But whenever you active that, whenever you active that, which is you active with the zero, no matter what you have here in the input of the D flip flop, the output will be set. That means the output is one. Similar with the clear. Whenever this is not active, which is if you give one. So that's not active. So it's actually the default flop is its own job based on that table we know. Whenever that is active, which is the zero, the output, no matter what you have here in the input, what you have on the clock pulse, the output definitely is zero. So that means this is reset the whole thing, put the zero on the output, no matter what you have. And reset, actually set the output, no matter what you have. Okay. So here we do this. We actually connect the old preset. We don't need the preset. So I actually put the old preset together and connect them to the VCC, which is somehow I, if I connect to the VCC, you tell me I active the preset pins or I deactive. I connect to the VCC. Active, deactive, whenever we connect to VCC on the chat box. Active, deactive. Deactive. That's right. So see, this is this is actually active with zero. Whenever you connect, we see that means it has no nothing, no rule in this circuit because you already actually deactive. So you do the same thing. You actually connect this to this, and you call this initialize. Okay, I N I T bar. So because the, all of them connected to each other, if I put, if I active this, which is I give zero, the whole thing should be zero. So that means you see the zero here, no matter what you have in the input. But whenever that is deactive, with, which is with one, deactive with one, so that means the circuit do its is normal job, right? Take a look to the clock pulse, then based off the input, it's actually do its own job. So usually we have the, these initial pin here, the, this initial input. What initial input means? That's clear from the name. That means before you start to work with your uh, circuit, you just push that one time, reset everything, then your circuit is ready to go. Okay? So definitely you see this in the most of, not most of them, in some actually electrical devices, right? They have actually the reset button. So you push that reset button, so then you are actually able to start to work with this. Here is the same thing, okay? So this is what we do. Before we start with this circuit, we just push that one time. We reset everything, so that means everything is zero. So then based on what you get, you actually, this circuit is doing its own job. So let's see how it has worked. So you have this serial input in the first rising age. So you first you just 
reset this, that means these are just for a small time. This is zero, you have zero all in these pins. That means all of these value is zero, right? So that means I have at four zero because before I, I actually push that initialize pin, so everything is zero. So right now, I the circuit works. So that means in the first rising age, take a look to the first one. What we have in the first one is SI. So based off the D flip flop table, whatever, if this is zero, it should be zero, it is one is one. So that means if I give a one, so that means in the second actually rising age, I have this. So see, whatever you have here, which is the zero comes to here. So that's the reason you see it is zero. Whatever you had here, which is here is zero, is shift here, so you have zero. Whatever you have here, shift here is zero. So that's what you have one more. You have these value until until the see the next rising age. In the next rising age, so everything again shift one other side. Okay. If the serial input the SI that you have is zero, so again, yes, yeah, suppose you give the zero. So that means this zero from serial input is here, this one shift here, this one shift, this zero shift here, this zero shift here, you have this. So next, if you again give the SI is again zero, so this zero comes here, that means it's moved here, this one actually move here, you have this. So that means, see in the every rising age, it's actually shift one bit to the right, okay? So that's actually meaning of shift registers. So let I show you the simulation of that. So I have the one simulation here for shift right. See, this is exactly the same circuit. We have the D, 4D. So it start with the simplest, the clock pulse. Check the clock pulse. The old clock pulse connected to each other and then I connect it to this uh, uh, function generator. The frequency that I gave is one hertz, means the time interval between two rising age is one second, okay? So this is a simple thing. So what we connect to here for the first one, if you back to our design, that's a serial input. I want to connect this to the one switch that able to give zero one. Whenever I want to have the zero, I push that switch to the zero. Whenever I want one, I want to get the one. So that's what you see this switch here. So this is the serial input. If I push here, that's you give zero. If I push this here, is it one, okay? So what we have next, so see the output of the first one connected to the input of another one, these output connected to this input, and these output connected to the input, exactly similar with the design that we had here, okay? So check the preset, so all preset connected to each other, and are connected to the VCC, that's what we did in our design. See the, the clear button, so the all clear buttons connected to each other, and they are connected to this switch. Why I did that? Because I need to reset the circuit. So I put the switch, I connect all these four, one, two, three, four, connect to this switch. Whenever I want to reset, just for a short time, I put that on the zero, then actually put back on the one. So that means I reset the circuit and the circuit should be ready to go. So for the output, I just connected these output to the LEDs indicator that I, I able to see which value I have inside them. So let I actually simulate that. So see what you expect. The, in the I just, this is how you reset. So this is in the zero, then you put on the one, okay? So see what's happened. So I'm going to just first see what you expect. Whenever I, push the button for initialize that, definitely everything should be zero. So that means everything should be zero. So then if you keep these on the one, so I just initialize that everything zero, then I put this one, that means the circuit is doing own job. What is its own job is take the first serial input, which is one here. So it should be one here. Then 
after one second, the, that one should become here. You again, you have another one here, right? So that means if the olive is actually is on, the first one should be on after one second. Next one on, next one on, and next one on. See, could you see that the same put is one? So I put that initialize that reset the circuit right now. Take a look to the four LEDs and consider you have one here. So see, this is first rising a second one, next one. That, that means after the four uh, rising age, this one that you had in the beginning, it's able to actually shift and receive here, okay? So let's do a little play with that. So if you want to, that will be slower. So definitely you need to change this frequency, right? So let I give 0 0.1, that, that means the time between the rising actually is bigger. I actually increase that. So it means you should see more time shifting from here to here, here to here, right? That should be what's happening. So it should be almost 10 seconds, right? So again, I, I do the same thing. This is one, so I actually push that this is a zero. So right now I turn this on. So see, this is one. So it should be C, the rising age right now. Let to see when it's take the first one. Right now it's got that. So when it's move here after 10 seconds. So still it's here waiting to the second rising age to shift from here to here. So see right now it's shift that here. So right now it should be moved to this here, but not right now. Whenever it sees the another rising age, okay? Let to see should be after 10 seconds. Right now it is. So again, it's got this value again, should be wait 10 seconds to able to actually shift to that other one, right? So this is actually an odd. Yeah. So it is actually works what we say. You could actually play with this. So it is actually, you could actually simulate this yourself. It is very easy, right? You see, you see the number that you have, the number of the D flip flop. So 70, 7474N. So which is the IC that we have the flip flop inside. So then you could actually play with this. So see another thing I could do again, I reset that. Then I put the zero here. Then I actually back here. So I give one, you got the first one. So see the first LED, you got one. I push that on the zero. So right now this is comes to zero. So that means just one should be actually achieved right. So see after 10 seconds, this is moved here, but again, you get the new zero. That's the, that's the reason because this is on the zero. So now this thing is zero. So just these, see how these one move here. Yeah, I think the next rising age, it's jump here. And the next it should be able to go to the other one, okay? So yeah, so again, you could push another one, wait to the rising age, this should be one, right? So you wait to see the rising age that able to get, take a look to this. Yeah, it's right now got, I push immediately to the zero. So again, it's the same story. You see it's slowly, you actually shift this one here. So then again, after next 10 seconds, it should go to the other one, which is right now. And this one, which is after 10 seconds, okay? So this is the shift right register and it shows how it works.